MailChimp comes with some really, really awesome pre-designed templates where all you need to do is pick your logo, colors, and fonts. And then you will have a mobile ready design that works in pretty much any browser or any email software application. So let's look at how to customize the pre-built templates that MailChimp comes with. So if we go into our MailChimp account and we click to templates, we'll be able to create a template. So I will caveat this with, I don't teach you how to create custom HTML templates because the pre-built templates work really, really well. I've used them to make all of my courses. Every email you've ever received from me is a pre-built template that I've customized. And if I was to teach custom HTML templates, that would be hours of instruction and probably another course. So I will also note that free plans get access to basic templates, so you'll see less templates here. Essentials get access to all of the templates, and standard and premium plans get access to all of the templates, plus the ability to create custom coded templates. So the reason why I like the MailChimp pre-built templates again is because they work out of the box, they're mobile friendly, and they work on pretty much any device or application. So the, the point here, and I'm gonna pick a template that reflects this, is emails work best when they are simple. They're not web pages, so they don't need fancy designs. Every time I test a fancy design versus a simple design, simple design gets more clicks, and more engagement. So let's just start with the simple text template. So here what we're going to do is look at what we wanna to do to make this a little bit better. So I'm gonna add my logo, cause that's always a good idea. So I'm gonna drag an image over here. I'll click browse and I'm going to pick my little monkey. So I'll click insert. And now that's really big. That's ridiculously big. So I'll click edit, crop and resize to 30 by 30. I'm gonna click save. So now it's a nice little monkey there. So I'll click over to settings and I'm gonna align it to the left. So that looks a lot better. So I'll click save. So now maybe this link color isn't the color that I want it to be. It doesn't match my brand. So I'll click over to design body, scroll down to link color, and I'm going to pick a yellow that's a bit too bright. I'm going to maybe do this yellow. Then I'm going to click save. So already, this looks pretty good. And I don't like this footer, so I'm going to change all of this. So I'm going to delete that copyright thing. I'm going to change this. I'm going to take out mailing address. I'm going to put my mailing address in there instead. And then I'm going to click off of that. I'm going to delete that. So we need an unsubscribe link. We should have a link to update preferences. We don't need to show monkey rewards. And so here what I want to do is put a note so that if it is a campaign, so what I wanna do here is add a little bit of conditional content so that if a subscriber is looking at this in their inbox, they'll see the ability to update their preferences or unsubscribe as well as the mailing address. And if they're not a subscriber, then they're gonna see a note about subscribing to the email. So what I'm gonna type is this. So if it is an archive page, then I'm gonna show a message that says, if you'd like to sign up for this list, visit this page. And then I'm gonna link that to the sign up page that I have on my website. Or I could link it to a landing page because landing pages are awesome. And then what I'm gonna say is if it's not an archive page, so else, so that means if it's not an archive page, it's a person looking at this as a subscriber in their inbox, in that case, I'm going to show them the address because that's legal compliance. And I'm going to show an unsubscribe link, which is legal compliance and a way to update the list. And then I'm going to close that out with an end if. So if it's the archive page, show this text. Or else, if it's not the archive page, show this text. And then end the if. 
So we'll click save and close and we're good to go. Now the last thing to do is to preview it. So let's enter preview mode. That looks pretty good. Go over to mobile. Hey, that looks pretty good in mobile as well. If we go over to inbox, then we can upgrade our account. If we don't have the ability to run the preview, this basically shows you what your email will look like in a variety of different mail clients. So we're good to go. This looks really good. Let's save it. We'll give it a name. And now we have the ability to use this template anytime we're creating either a campaign or an automation. Thanks for watching.